Hello everyone, I am going live right now. So I just got married and I playing with the wedding ring is a little I'm still getting used to it. You know, like you can hear that clanking kind of. Um, yeah, sometimes I gotta take it off, especially for acoustic. Um, yeah, getting used to it. So as we're waiting for folks to get in here, um, today's topic I want to cover is triads, and I want to kind of have a little open dialogue about this. Because to me, triads are the most important musical shape uh, or musical like foundation in order to be able to not only solo but like play chords and all this stuff. It's like it's really really important. Um, so um, as we're waiting for folks to get in here, please feel free to jump in. You know, like ask questions. This should be a back and forth. I got my coffee here. Um, I know it's kind of late here in Los Angeles for coffee, but I, you know it's like 4:30, 4:18, so. Um, but I want to take an example uh, for triads, and I want to just like debunk some some myths, um, and we're gonna kind of start it from a beginner's level of triads, and we're gonna work our way up to like more advanced. So um, prior to triads, let's just let's just talk like bar chords. I, I want to do something simple like C. <laughs> F, G, C. You guys can all see that, right? Um, maybe I'll scoot back just a little bit. So it's like C, you know, so three, five, 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 and then one, five, or sorry, one, three, three, two, one, one, and then the G, three, five, five, four, three, three. So we have our chords, and these are called bar chords, and these um, are about as basic as I want to go today. Uh, and a lot of songs use this one, four, five. Now what we can do, um, like that's like level one for our all intents and purposes. Uh, what, what I want to do is the goal. All right, so the end game is to like make melody. So rather than playing. That sounds good, especially if you're a singer-songwriter and you're accompanying yourself. What we want to do is have the top note create melody. So what I what what I mean by that is like so so I'm making a melody. And that's all using these triads. So we're gonna work our way up to that, like how to do that. Um, so let's strip away some of these notes and we're just gonna have this. So it's on the D, G, and B string. It's like five, five, five. And we come down here. It's just the F triad. Um, three, two, one uh, on the D, G, B string. And we're gonna scoot that up a whole step for our G shape. Five, four, three, come back to the original shape. Okay, so instead of now, like, we have a little more broken down shape. But the cool thing is, is now we want to make some melodies. So this is the next level now, right? So this is like level three, essentially. Um, instead of playing, because to me, that's not a, a good melody. Worth the crap, but uh, but you kind of get the idea. So now we want to start making melodies, um, and the way we do this is we go through inversions. So this is the next level. So this is level three. So here's our C. Here's a C. So ten, nine, eight, on the same, uh, and then up here, which is fourteen, twelve, thirteen. So we have. Like the similar shape for F, um, uh, they're just going to be all uh, the exact same shapes, just moved around. So for F, uh, it'd be seven, five, six, and ten, ten, ten. So we have, and the same thing for. 
for the G. So five, four, three, uh, nine, seven, eight, and then 12, 12, 12. And so, so how, okay, let's drill this. Ah, uh, sorry. And back down here. Pretty rudimentary, pretty kind of stale, um, but watch when it all comes together. We want to start making melodies. Um, so, like, if it, instead of playing, which is pretty rudimentary, maybe we want to do something like this, uh, like how I did in the previous uh, example, like the first example. So. just using those shapes those three shapes I showed you and moving them all around and what I'm doing is I'm like consciously having this is this is the hardest part is hearing the melody prior to you playing it so uh, let's use that example and I'll just show it to you I'll slow it down I'll break it down so you can kind of play it back uh, at like a uh, slow tempo and you'll start to understand what I mean by this by these shapes so, so that's our C shape five by five and we're gonna hammer on or sorry, just play the F. And then we're gonna go up to this G shape. So this, uh, which is seven, five, six. We're gonna scoot it up a whole step. That G shape, go back down. So. idea and all of a sudden we have melodies uh, and then we could try working our way back down so you know and this is all just I'm like the high note for me is the melody so and we're able to harmonize the major scale just using this technique and to me this is like extremely uh useful just not only for just playing chords but like for soloing too like say you know say i, I gotta take a solo and it's that the exact chord progression you know you know whatever i'll play through it once you know so instead of playing you know i could play single notes ties into like hitting the right notes or hitting the changes so like instead of playing you know the, the A minor or the C major pentatonic box shape uh, which is fine it'll sound right but no outlining the changes and knowing like oh like uh, when this when this shape is happening you want to be playing as much as you can those three notes and when you know the F shape is happening Want to be playing, outlining those notes. Excuse me. Um, and that, that those are some levels to the triads. So like you're gonna want to start with the bar chords and remove, you know, and just do uh, the triads. 
triads, and then you're gonna start, you know, drill these triads like that. And I explained it earlier in this video. These are all the same shapes. Well, now you have these triads, and you're gonna want to then start making melodies with it. Um, and that, that to me, making melodies is like the most fun. So, like for all intents and purposes, the melodies are gonna be coming uh, at the at the top note, but as we like keep working together, sometimes there'll be melodies in between the chords, you know? So like if I had an A minor, you know, something like that, or you know, that's when stuff gets really, really fun and we will work together to try to try to get there. Cause that, that is some really, really cool stuff when the melodies are happening in between the chords. But uh, for our purposes now, the melody is the top note. And uh, I'm gonna give you a little bonus. We want to do the triads also on the top three strings. So right now we did it on the D, G, B strings. So like, you know, four, three, two strings. And right now we wanna do the triads on the highest, highest string. So let's go over that. So for C major, it would be uh, starting on the G string. It would be five, five, three. Now let's work our way up. Then it'd be 10, uh, sorry, nine, eight, eight. And then 12, 13, 12. Now we're going to use these same shapes and just kind of like reorder them uh, for F, which is 2 1 1, 5 6 5, 10 10 8. So now we're going to go up here to the G, which is 4 3 3, 7 8 7. <laughs> lot of, I feel like I'm doing math right now. 12 12 10. Now we, we now we really covered some ground because now we're able to uh, play these shapes. Okay. Drill these shapes and keep it simple. Like just do one, four, five stuff. Nothing, nothing too crazy, nothing like, just try to keep it as simple as possible and make some melodies. And here's a good exercise too that my old teacher used to do. Okay, so like, say, you know, I don't know how to do a melody. Well, what we're gonna do is just walk our shapes up. So here's our, our C chord. Now I want the shapes to move this way. So what's, what's a shape that would move this way? Uh, that's an F. All right, what's the shape that would move this way? That's a G. And then keep going. C, back to C. Now back to, now we're going to F, G, C. And then we want to work our way back down. So C, and then what if I wanted to go C, F, G, like always, like. Uh, getting lost on like how to make melodies just try to move uh your triads up this way and once you get here and you can't go any further start moving it back down this way and that will help uh maybe demystify some of the fretboard and if you can't hear the melodies yet you will uh especially as you start drilling these triads um so i hope everyone enjoyed this little mini lesson uh yeah leave a comment if you have any questions i want to do more of these live streams just connect with all you guys and um and yeah figure out uh what kind of questions you have and yeah just just create a dialogue make everyone better players so yeah hope everyone's doing well happy friday have a great weekend take care